Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy baby bib. It's all single crochet, so it's real easy and it works up pretty fast. So what I'm using is, I'm using peaches and cream, which is 100% cotton yarn. It's a four ply cotton yarn. You probably don't necessarily have to use cotton, but I think cotton would probably be the best for a baby bib. And the color I'm using is floral bouquet but any color is fine and there are let me look here if I can find it right here 56.7 grams or 95 yards in one roll of these and I was able to do one bit per per roll so 95 yards is enough to do one one bib and I'm gonna be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and then you're going to need just like a button or if you didn't want to sew on a button you could also use velcro probably this button's probably about three quarters of an inch maybe an inch big and some regular sewing thread and a regular sewing needle if you choose to use a button instead of velcro to sew it on okay you want to start off with a chain of 21 so once you get your chain of 21 done, we're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, single crochet into that second stitch. Like that. And then it's one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this until you get to the end of the chain. Okay, when you make it to the end of your chain, what we want to do is chain one and turn our work. Now, for this whole project, whenever we chain one and turn, that chain one does not count as anything at all. I know sometimes people count it as a stitch, and I do too sometimes. But this time, that chain one doesn't count, so just ignore it whenever we do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this very, very first stitch right here, and we're going to put two single crochets in it, the very, very first one. What this is going to do is start to make it a little bit wider. Start to make it taper up a little bit on the ends. So there's two single crochets in that very first stitch. Now I'm going to work my way across putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way to the end. Just like that. Okay, when you make it to the end here, on the very last stitch, we're going to put two single crochets in that last stitch. So we put two single crochets in the first one. And then we're going to put two into the last one. So just go ahead and go into it. And put two single crochets into the same stitch. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work. And remember that chain one is not counting as anything. We're just going to ignore that we did it. And we're going to work in this very, very, very first stitch and put one single crochet. And then it's just one single crochet in every single stitch across for this row. Just like that until we get to the end. Okay, when we make it to the end, it's still just one single crochet in the very last stitch. And now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, this is row four, I believe. And now we're gonna work in this very, very first stitch again, and we're gonna put two single crochets in that very first stitch. So there's one, two, and now it's one single crochet in every stitch all the way down until you get to the last stitch. 
and in the last stitch we'll put two single crochets. So go ahead and put one single crochet in every stitch to the end. Okay, at the end it's two single crochets in this very last stitch. Just like that. And we're not going into that chain one, remember, we're just ignoring it. It's not even there. We're just we're going into the very last stitch. Now we're going to chain one, turn our work, starting with this very, very first stitch, one single crochet, and now it's one single crochet, and every stitch across to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end, after doing one single crochet in every stitch, chain one, turn, and we're going to put two single crochets in this very, very first stitch right here. Two, and now it's one single crochet in every stitch across until you get to the end. Okay, when you make it to the end, again, we're going to put two single crochets into that last stitch. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now working in the very, very first stitch again, one single crochet. And one single crochet in every stitch across. Now we're not going to be doing, well, what we're going to be doing now is just rows of one single crochet in every stitch. We're not going to be putting two single crochets anymore at the ends. So now, until we get to the length we want, it's just rows of one single crochet in every stitch. And you want to do a total of, you want to do 19 more rows of one double crochet in every stitch. So this is our first one. We want to do a total of 19. So all together we'll have 25 rows because we have six rows here and we want to start over this counting as number one and do 19 more. So total you should have 25. If that makes sense. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. So go ahead and keep working your rows of one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, when you get your 19 rows of one single crochet in every stitch, or if you count from the bottom up, counting all these rows we've done, you should have a total of 25 rows. Now we'll work on the straps. Now I didn't clip my yarn or anything. I still got it attached. We just want to chain one and turn. Now working in the very, very first stitch again, single crochet. We're going to single crochet one single crochet for eight stitches. So that counts as one. We'll go to the next one. Two, the next one. Three, the next one. Four, five, six. Seven and eight, and then we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. So, what we're going to do, we go into the very, very first stitch, doll the yarn, pull up a loop. Keeping these loops on our hook, we're going to go into the next stitch, draw up our yarn, draw up a loop. And we'll have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go through all three loops. So that took those two stitches and it made it into one. Now I'm just going to continue across putting one single crochet in every stitch to the end of the row. And I'm going to 
and chain one and turn. Now I'm going to work across, starting in the very first stitch again. One single crochet in every stitch. Again, to the end of the row. Should have seven, seven stitches left after that row now, after this row, in this row, since we decreased. So now we're going to chain one and turn, single crochet decreased over these first two stitches, go in to the first one, drop a loop, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. And now I'm going to continue across, putting one single crochet for the remainder of the stitches. Chain one, turn. One single crochet in every stitch across, and you should have six stitches now. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I do. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to decrease again over the first two stitches. So go into that first one, drop a loop, into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all three, one stitch across, or one single crochet in every stitch across, Chain one and turn, one single crochet in every stitch across. You should have five stitches now. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and turn. Single crochet decrease over these first two stitches. Go into the first one, drop a loop. The next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three, and now one single crochet in the remainder of each stitch. Chain one, turn, should have four stitches now. One single crochet in each of them, there's one, two, three, Okay, I'm not going to decrease anymore on this side. So now it's just chain one and turn. Now it's just continual rows of one single crochet in each stitch, and it's four stitches each row. Just like that. And then you just chain one and turn, and just keep going across. And you want to do. You want to have a total of 28 rows of the four single crochet rows. So, f but you can do more. I mean, that's not set in stone. You don't have to. just till you get the strap the length you want. You know, you don't have. That's not set in stone. So. But I'm going to do 28 rows, and then I'm going to make a buttonhole. 28 rows. 28 rows of the four single crochets in each stitch. Okay. Once you get that 28 rows of the four single crochet rows here. We'll do the buttonhole by chaining one and turning. And now we're going to single crochet into the very first stitch. And we're going to chain two. One and two. We're going to skip the two stitches and single crochet into the last. Like that. And then we'll chain one and turn single crochet into the very first stitch again and right through this chain here where we did a chain two we'll put two single crochet so let's go right through it and there's one right through it again that's two and then one single crochet into the last stitch and there you have a buttonhole so now I'm going to go ahead and do Chain one and turn. 
two more rows of single crochet here. Do my second one here. Just like that. Now I'm going to pull up my yarn and clip it off. Like that. Okay, you can hide this tail if you want. I'll probably try to sew it in here later. Now we're going to start on the other side. And we're going to make a shorter strap. I'm actually going to do the exact same thing over here that I did on this side. Except for less of the four single crochet rows. So, I'm going to start... Right here in the corner. Work my way that way. So your strap will be the the strap we just did. Put it on that side, and start right up here in the very first stitch. Pull your yarn through, and I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that very same stitch and single crochet, and I'm going to think make. You put one single crochet eight stitches across, so that's our first one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to chain one and turn. Single crochet decrease. So in these first two stitches. One single crochet in the remainder of the stitches. Chain one and turn. One single crochet every stitch across. You should have seven stitches now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain one and turn. Single crochet over the first single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. Like that single crochet one stitch one single crochet in every stitch for the remainder of the row. Chain one and turn. One single crochet. Every stitch across, you should have six stitches now. And there's six. Now we're just going to repeat what we did over here until we get down to where we only have four stitches again. Okay, when you get down to where you're working with just four single crochets across, you just want to do five rows of four single crochets. So I'm working on my second one. And there's four in that one. Chain one, turn. This is my third row. Chain one and turn. Fourth row. One and turn, and here is my fifth row. Now you don't want to clip off after this. Now 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a, one single crochet in every single stitch across, all the way around, all the way up the strap, back down the strap, all the way around the neckline, and back to where we started. And you can see it makes it look nice and clean after you do that. And this one already has been done. So, just start right here where we're at. I'm going to chain one. Okay, now I'm just going to go across, putting one single crochet in every stitch and you should be able to see the each row is going to get a single crochet i kind of go down like right here's a row i'll go right through there jump over right here at the end i kind of go in between the last stitch See here's this the next row, here's the last stitch. I kind of go in between that one and a single crochet. The next one. Single crochet. Kind of a single crochet along, around the last stitch in each row. And you see it makes it look nice and clean. I'm going to work my way down until I get down here to this first corner. Okay, I went all the way down from my starting point and I'm down here at the bottom. And when I get to the corner stitch, I want to put three single crochets in that corner. So there's one, all in the same stitch. Two, and three. That makes it around the corner a lot nicer so it's not kind of sticking up. And then I'm going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to my next corner and when I get to my next corner I'll put three single crochets in that one also okay I went back around and I'm across the bottom here and I put three single crochets in this corner over here and now I'm going to continue working up the side putting one single crochet in every stitch and I'm still kind of going sticking going around this the last stitch in each row for my single crochet Just like that and you can see by putting three single crochets in every stitch it made the corners lay nice and flat so I'm going to continue going up one single crochet in every stitch all the way up the strap here until I get to the top I made it all the way up the side of this strap and I'm at the top and you want to go ahead and put three single crochets in this corner stitch one two three and then one single crochet and the stitches crossed the next two actually and then three single crochet here and the last the top one here one two three and now I'm going to work my way back down with one single crochet in every stitch. 
So I'm just doing the same thing. I just put three single crochets in each of these corner stitches also. Makes the straps look nice and rounded there. So just go ahead and continue back down the other side of the strap. Okay, what I did, I just continued with my one single crochet in every stitch all the way down this strap and down here through the neckline. And then I went back up to this strap and I put three single crochets in this corner, three single crochets in that last corner. And now to end it, you just want to slip stitch into the very first single crochet that you did like that and then you can pull up and clip that off now this time you want to go and you want to hide all your tails clip off any loose ends that you have you probably don't really want to watch me hide my tail so I'll go ahead and turn the camera off okay one last thing you want to do is just sew a button over here on the small strap just you know however you would normally sew a button on this one i actually use yarn and a yarn needle to sew it on but when i made this other one i used thread and a thread needle so either one works fine and that is it that's all there is to it it's just buttons over here so simple easy bib and you can tell i made one buttoned button to the left and i made one button to the right and that just whichever side you want your long strap on it doesn't matter actually so you can make a strap either side um, but if you follow me we did this one I did this one earlier I just made the strap on this side longer and this side shorter so you can do it either way but that's all there is to it I hope you're able to follow along please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and you can um, come check me out on Facebook and if you make these or anything that you crochet and make or and you want to post a picture of it you can post it on my facebook page i'll put a link to that below in the description box and until next time have a good day